Today we're going to discuss eliminating clutter. One of the things you'll hear me talk about often in our Self-Awareness 101 series is that as you change, there are things that you have to leave behind. There are things that you have to let go of. Sometimes those are belief systems. Sometimes those are relationships. Sometimes it's material and physical things. Actually, when I began my journey, that was actually given to me as a tool of how to create change in my life was that a cathartic experience would be starting with physical change. You know, they would say sometimes if you want to change something in yourself, change something about yourself, shave, get a haircut, do these types of things. And over the years, I've heard lots of people talk about, you know, when it's time for them to move and transition into a new part of their life, what they'll do is they will go through their house and they'll clean out their closets or they'll clean out their attic, their garage. Because we don't realize how much energy is attached to things. Mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, financial energy that just reaches out and is attached to physical things in our lives. So what we're talking about today is eliminating clutter. And sometimes it can be as simple as cleaning out a closet. Sometimes it can be getting rid of a whole home. As actually a personal experience of mine. Recently, actually a little over a year and a half ago, I moved my 83-year-old mother in to live with me because when she was 80, she started having a series of operations. Uh, she had a knee replacement that went bad. So in a three-year period, she had eight operations on her left knee. Now, this forced her out of her home even after the first operation because she needed to go into a rehab center after the first operation. And then because of the way that her house was an old country farmhouse, she couldn't go back there while she was going through the healing process. And then the next surgery came up and it just continued. So she didn't live in her house for three years. Um, now, this was her childhood home. The house itself is actually 107 years old. Um, and because she had not lived in it for three years, the house really fell into serious disrepair. Now, when we made the decision to move her in with me, we had hoped that in time she would be able to move back to her property, but it became obvious after her first year of being here that that wasn't going to be the case. It wasn't going to happen. So, we had to take a look at what we were going to do with this property. The house was four hours away from where we now live in New Jersey. And it was a drain in many ways. She was thinking about it every day, you know, literally on her mind every day about, well, you know, was, was the, were the pipes freezing and were there animals getting into the basement and all these different things that she was concerned about. And I was, financially responsible for it, making the mortgage payments and taking care of the taxes. And I would have to go back there every month just to physically check on things. And you don't think of how these things take time and energy out of your life. So we had to come to a decision at a point. Um, the house was falling into serious disrepair uh, because of the whole economy that's going on. The house was now worth less than what was owed on it because of that physical disrepair. And we had to, for her sake, come to a decision of was she going to let go, not just physically let go of that property, but mentally and emotionally so she could embrace the rest of her life living here in New Jersey and create new friendships and, and find peace that this was now her home. And we couldn't do that while she still was holding on to mentally, emotionally, the old property. So we had to let, come to the decision to, to let that property go. It's a very cathartic experience. It's a very major experience because so many of us attach so much meaning to physical things. And the reality is the meaning is here. And in here, the memories are 
connected inside. But many people will never let go of a home or a car or a musical instrument or sometimes a relationship because of the attachment they have to the past. But you can't move into the future without eliminating clutter from your life and letting go of those things that you had so much attachment to in the past. You can't become a new you when you're still holding on to all those things. So what I invite you to do is if you're in a place of transformation in your life is to take a look around. What are some things that you're holding on to that if you let them go will open up a space for you in your life to bring something new in? Maybe it's cleaning out a closet. Maybe it's getting rid of a car that's just kind of sitting in your driveway. Maybe it's letting go of a relationship that doesn't serve you anymore. Eliminating clutter is about opening yourself up, letting go of the mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, and financial attachments to that clutter, and making yourself free to accept new things in your life. So I look forward to hearing how this physical experience of eliminating clutter from your life manifests itself for you in other areas. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to your results. Take care. For a transcription of the video you just watched, more videos, and related articles, visit yourdailylifecoach.com. To comment on this video, select Discussion Forums on any page of our website.